I love nutritional yeast and I eat it most days. And studies have shown that it contains powerful antioxidants such as glutathione and selenomethionine, and these compounds may help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. What's most exciting is that the fiber in nutritional yeast is beta-glucan, and one of the many wonderful benefits of beta-glucan is the fact that it's been found to boost anti-tumor immunity by activating the immune cells. In this study, women with metastatic breast cancer were given just a sixteenth of a teaspoon of nutritional yeast's worth of beta-glucans, which resulted in a 50% increase in the number of monocyte white blood cells in their bloodstream, and a significant increase in their activation. Another benefit is that it's loaded with vitamin B12. Now, while some brands fortify nutritional yeast, not all of them do, so it is best to check the label. But just one quarter of a cup of fortified nutritional yeast can provide more than seven times the recommended amount of vitamin B12. However, I recently learned that nutritional yeast may not be suitable for everyone. These researchers recommended that individuals with inflammatory bowel disease, glaucoma, and hypertension should avoid using nutritional yeast because it could make their symptoms worse. We also know that patients with Crohn's disease and Hidradenitis suprativa should strictly avoid nutritional yeast. There's also a question mark surrounding those with other autoimmune diseases. But with that said, what about the rest of us? Well, I heard an interview from Dr. Michael Clapper where he was asked if you can consume too much nutritional yeast. And here was his answer. Yeah, I think you can. Uh, it has a bit of uric acid in it, or a substance that can turn into uric acid, which can lead to gout and kidney stuff. I love nutritional yeast. I, I would eat it by the spoonful if I could, but I know I can't. So I hold it to about a tablespoon a day uh, on my spaghetti or whatever I'm consuming. So four or five heaping teeth, that's probably too much. And it's obviously fortified, too. So uh, you may want to get so it's the not fortified and alternate the two. One day use a fortified, one day not fortified. So let that be 12 come down. You don't want excessively high B12 levels. And again, the, the uric acid in the, in the yeast itself can be problematic. So throw a throttle back on your nutritional yeast to a tablespoon, two at the most a day. And that's where I would hold it if I were you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.